Really happens here. Yeah, uh, not often. No. Nope. Not nope. often. I I get beautiful actresses. <laughs> no sir. No sir. I know it happens a lot. It's a clerical error. <laughs> yeah. How do they end up here? That's really the question. Luck. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> anyway, she's a beautiful, talented actress. You can see her in the comeback. Uh, Sunday's on HBO. Take a look at this. Oh my God! Everything's going. Yeah. Somebody <laughs> irons on the fire, so well, why am I not surprised? Right. Exactly. We need to see each other yeah. tomorrow. I wish. I'm actually going to Bali to shoot a movie. I'm in love with a robot in this one. Ah. <laughs> okay. I know. But I'll be back in like three months. Uh, three months. It's a date. Great. Okay. Oh, no, I'm sorry. Uh, actually, four months. I'm, I'm going to Madrid to shoot for Vogue. Oh, okay. Four months. <laughs> Malin Ackerman, everybody. Yeah. I mean, just like, mm, 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 mm. I mean, well, mm, I'm you. giving you the whole wiggle finger. I like the wiggle finger. <laughs> oh, yeah. The lady I, in red action. The you know? lady in red. Lady. Oh, I can't sing it, can I? I you wanted to sing. It. Oh, you can't. No, oh, I can't because we can't oh. afford it. I would have to sing uh, a version of Lady in Red that sounded a little bit like it, but not enough like it okay. so that we didn't have to pay for it. For example, Do it. Lady in Red, 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 Ready, Red, I'm ready for you. Know, you. We're good, we're good, we're good. Thank you. It's not as romantic. You do look it's great, though. I like this. Is this like a this little... Oh, that? I thought you were talking about the microphone. No, no, I, the your, microphone yeah. I can take uh, a leave. This but is this? a little sneak and peek. Yeah. That I... Never mind. I was going to say something. It doesn't matter. So, anyway. Okay, no good. <laughs> I was just checking. You've uh, you've done something with your hair. Yeah, I chopped it's, it off. Uh, it's so yeah. warm and it looks good. Thank you. You love it. Such a beautiful face. Oh, well, thank you. And we can you. see it because before we could see it too. Yeah. But, uh, <laughs> That's a good observation. Yeah, yeah. How are things with you? Are you all right? Like, I'm great. Yeah. yeah. I'm. I have a. Your uh, earrings are very nice. I'm thank just, you very yeah. much. Yeah. You know, I always try for you. Well, I always, why always like... try for you too. <laughs> <laughs> Uh -huh. mm -hmm. um, no, things are good. You know, I'm actually, uh, I flew in from Vegas this morning. Ooh, I've been in that Vegas. Must be fun. You uh, love being in Vegas, don't you? You know, a night is, is great. Oh, I've I can't even do a night. Three, like, weeks. three weeks. Three weeks? Three um, weeks. I have a gambling problem. And it's not helping. Okay. Uh, do you really have a gambling problem? Because no, I've don't. got a pipe. Uh, we could do a bit of therapy. Yes. Um, so yeah. why do you want to lose all your money? I, d I really don't. I want to win more money. No, I think gamblers, uh, addictive gamblers, want to lose their money so that they can hate themselves a little more. You think a little more? You think I hate myself already? I was a guess. Yeah. Oh. Uh, <laughs> if you're an addictive gambler, well, you're, like, you're doing it because it makes you feel great. Yeah, because I don't want my son to go to college, basically. So his college. Well, if you don't want your son to I go to college. Because he knows, right? Well, you don't want your son to go to college. No, why would I? <laughs> Keeps him out of the late night talk show circuit, if you know what I'm saying. No, Did I'm you go to joking. college? I actually don't have a, a gambling no, problem. No, I know you don't. Okay, uh, okay good. I'm, and I'm not making light of gambling problems, let me just say that. No, no. Um, Why, do you have a gambling problem? No, but I drank addictively for 15 years. Oh, does that help? Good, yes, that does help. And took cocaine. Oh, fantastic. Acid, heroin. Oh, wow. Um, not much heroin. Oh, good. Okay. That was a little intense. Yeah, that's, that's yeah. A heavy one. <laughs> Yeah, um, stick to the cocaine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I weaned myself with, <laughs> off the, the heroin with the cocaine. Fent oh, it's wow. an unconventional detox, but it works yeah. for me. Well, listen, if it worked for you, then... Uh, so, you, did you go to college? That's what I wanted to ask. I did, I did a year of university in Toronto to, uh, to become a psychologist. So I should really did, have. Did they the give pipe. you a pipe, or did no, you not get didn't. that far? I guess when you graduate, you get a pipe. Yeah, you get. Yeah. The, the, so you graduated psychology. In my mind, sure. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Isn't that yeah. great? There's a lot of things that can happen in our minds that we think it's are true. It's almost like you do know about psychology. Yeah. What, what about that? What were you studying? Was it Jungian or was it just like a... At the, where the first year it was just about different parts of the brain. The cortex and... Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's very interesting how the brain works and how you basically, your first three years, if they're messed up, then you're messed up for life. <laughs> so... 
be a great psychologist, don't you think? <laughs> you nailed my problem right there. <laughs> That's actually true. Yeah. I mean, with me, yeah. It was, oh, really? Yeah. Well, you had a traumatic first three years of your life? I can't really remember them, yeah. so I'm, I'm saying yes. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> well, let's put it this way. I was the youngest person in jail. <laughs> I wasn't in yeah, jail. So, really uh, you getting back to Canada much? Uh, every now and then, you yeah. know, I try to go back to see my family, but most of them, my mom moved back to Sweden. My whole family's in Sweden now, ah, so I go I back and... Go to Sweden. Oh, come with me. I'll be at yes, your tour yes guide. Yes, I will. Yes, yeah. I will go to Sweden. <laughs> Um, what part uh, of Sweden are you from? Stockholm? Stockholm originally, mm -hmm. but now my family lives down in the south. But actually, they're all here. They're in the audience standing at the back. Really? Yeah, my dad and my stepmom and my sisters. Oh, no! yeah. sweet. Amazing. Yeah. Oh, do you guys have Thanksgiving? <laughs> no, we just. No, because, because you didn't leave to come here to. No, I didn't. We don't. We just say thanks and you have, give. You have Canadian Thanksgiving. Time. We do, but that's in October. Yeah, no, Which it's I just because, oh, we're going to go ahead of the American day. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to have ours first. We have to be ahead in one, one way. No, in right? many ways, Canada is ahead. The whole, you know, politeness. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Is that a, a head thing? Can't that, just, uh, just, can't that just be like a thing? Well, politeness? Yeah. yeah. I like politeness. Yeah. I'm all for it. Okay, good. Yeah, I think it's, uh, uh, you know, uh, it's... <laughs> it's yep. polite. Yeah, it's polite. <laughs> it's nice. I'm, I'm polite. Are you polite in your life? I'm pretty polite, yeah. I, I have massive road rage, though. Really? Yeah, yeah. I get it all out on the road. Do you actually, like, yell at people? Yeah, but they can't hear me, obviously, but it feels good. <laughs> but they can see you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm the crazy woman, you know. I'm sure that they're... Do you make gestures? Yep. A lot. You, you yep. be careful yeah, with that. People be get careful. really angry if you give them the gesture. I know. They get really violent. Yeah. And then they gesture back, and then you almost... I mean, it's... I, I've, I'm slowing down on that since I had You know what son. I try to do to stop getting angry? What? Is uh, pretend it's a video game. Really? Yeah, okay. driving around L.A. It's called... Uh, I call it Grand Theft Auto. Okay. And, <laughs> and I drive around L.A., and I, like... Oh, oh there's another thing. And, oh, uh, uh, oh there's... <laughs> That's a good oh, idea. Oh, 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 yeah. <laughs> It kind of okay. helps me a little bit. Okay, well, maybe I'll try it. But what yeah. do you do when people stop in the middle of the street when they're going to make a left turn, but there's no left turn lane, but they just decide to stop without putting their blinker on? Don't you want to get out and kill them? <laughs> I do. <laughs> I can't read their mind. I don't know they're going left. It just feels like they're stopped in the middle of the street. <laughs> Why'd you move away? What are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? You know I'm not stuck to this chair. I can just get up and come over there. Okay. <laughs> well, um, no, I get very angry at it, but I try not to, to do it because there's so many crazy people around. And you know. mustn't, especially if you're a woman driving alone in the car. You mustn't get involved in all that. There's, there's lunatics in L.A. I know. Is it, look. I... <laughs> Oh, yeah. How do you think these people got here? They drove. They look crazy. <laughs> Slowly, convinced. I probably yelled at some of you guys, and I'm, I apologize. No, you, you've got to stop with the road rage. You yeah. can ruin a whole life with 30 seconds of justified anger. You know, I got out and yelled at someone. You got yep. out? The, don't I get did. out of the car! Of the What's car. wrong with you? I got out of the car. No! Yeah, yeah, he, he was going into the gas station and didn't put his blinker on, and I almost crashed into him, and I was so mad. So I pulled in, and he got out of his car, and I said some obscenities to him. And You're lucky. Yeah, I was lucky. Do you know I did once? Did you? You got out and yelled at someone too? I had just come from the first meeting with a lawyer about my divorce years oh, and years ago. Fun. So I was in a pretty unpleasant mood. And I just found out about California divorce law and... Oh, yeah. Yeah. So you lost all your uh, everything, everything. Yep. and everything I was going to have Great. for five years. And I was like, oh my, so I'm driving in the car, enjoying the last time I would be able to afford it. <laughs> and I was going up Hollywood Boulevard and there was a lot of bad traffic. And this guy in a skateboard, you know, one of these 45 year old guys on skateboards, you know, yeah. you love them. Yeah. Uh, he gets out and he stopped in front of the car. And so I stopped. He went, hey, and on the front of my car. And I went, damn it. That's enough. And I get out, and he sees me get out of the car, and he starts to run up one of the side streets, and I went, no! And I ran <laughs> after him, and he's on a skateboard, and I, I run, and I'm like, what are you doing? I don't care! And I run up behind him, 
and he's got a skateboard, but he's kind of fallen, and I grab him, and I push him up against the wall, and he goes, no, I, I'm sorry, mate, I don't know, I'm English, I'm English, and I went, that's not gonna... Uh-oh. Help him! <laughs> This is a true story. This is a true story. And so what did you do? And as he heard me, because I, the last thing uh, an Englishman expects on Hollywood Boulevard is to be an angry Glaswegian. <laughs> so he's like, uh, and I suddenly saw the, uh, what I was doing and I said, I'm sorry, I've had a very difficult day. And then as I was going away, right? Uh, I was going away and he went, no, it's all, it's all right, it's all right. And I went, I'm sorry, I don't know what I'm doing. I just lost my temper. Please, uh, let's walk away from this. He's like, okay. And as I get away from him, he gets on his skateboard and he said, yeah, if I catch you, I'll... Ooh la la. You have... <laughs> <laughs> I was like, ah! Oh, my God. Yeah, I know. So don't get out of the car. No, no. I won't ever do that again. Thanks for the advice. Well, well it's never are. a good idea. You know, I got mugged before, but I got the guy and I got my wallet back. What? Yeah. You get mugged in L.A.? No, in Spain. Oh, well, then don't go there. <laughs> okay. So basically, just stay in my house and lock the doors. Yeah. And maybe come here sometimes. Limited, uh, Limited engagement, oh, but yeah. I know, yeah. I know. I'm so sad about that. I... I'm gonna... You're not. <laughs> oh, I'm I am. distraught. <laughs> Everything's fine. Good. Okay. Um, uh, we're out of time. Oh, Okay. That's sad. Well, you know. Or maybe you're maybe happy about it? No, no I, I'm distraught that we're out of time. Me too. But I think we should see other people. <sighs> okay. All right, I'm cool that way. That's fine. Really? Yeah. God, I love fine. Scandinavians. Don't you love Scandinavians? <laughs> Mel and Ackerman, everybody. We were right back. Welcome back, everybody. I'm John Merrill Gordon. I'm John Merrill Gordon. See how I burn them. I'm the great Kardashian. <laughs> My next guest is a very, very beautiful actress. She stars in Children's Hospital, which airs on the Adult Swim. <laughs> <laughs> she is adorable, though. The lovely Malin Ackerman. Malin Ackerman. You look very well. Thank you. You look very, <laughs> very fit and put together. And are you going out somewhere after this? Because you look great. I don't know. I was going to ask Johnny Memphis out on a date. Uh, today. Johnny Memphis. Uh, <laughs> do you think that's a great name? I think it's a great name. Yeah, I mean, you sound can... like a bluegrass singer. You know what I mean? Like a really? Johnny well, Memphis, yeah, like it... Johnny Cash, like a little. Oh no, I was thinking more Johnny Memphis, kind of like a leather wearing. Is that leather? You want to switch? Name? It is. You want to touch it? I do. I do. I want to touch it very badly. <laughs> Is that a leather bow, then? On that? Yeah, it is. A bow made of leather? Yeah, a bow, a bow made of leather. That's fantastic. I know, it's yeah. amazing. It's very, you look very, like, you... confused right now how that is possible. I, I'm not confused. You want to figure just, it out? Uh, yeah, I, I, yeah, I want to just, okay. I just want to pull it. Uh, <laughs> Is it, is it comfortable to it? Does it feel um, a bit... Not really. Not really. Um, yeah. No, but it. But it, I feel like it looks nice. Oh the right yes, it does. You look you. great. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You look really smashing too. Thanks. I'm wearing Spanx. Oh, that's what, that's what's different. No, no, yeah. I, I, th I'm wearing a vest. And, I like and the three piece. Well, so do I, because it's... this is like Spanx for men. Spanx for men. Yeah, yeah, oh, kind is of. Is that it's, what it is? Well, you know, it's a vest. It kind of yeah. like holds it all in. So one is popped at the bottom. Yeah, well, you have to do that because oh, gotcha. I, I'm one of the larger gentlemen. Oh, so yeah, I, yeah. I wasn't going to ask, but Scottish, thanks for know. sharing. No, yeah. no. <laughs> I just thought you, you, you'd you probably want to know. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> How's things going with you then? The last time you were here, we were doing a sketch. I know. That was really great. You looked very... I was, I was interesting I was, as I was the playing Prince. Prince Charles. Yes, yeah, 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 yeah. It was uh, that was really me. That wasn't really Prince Charles. No, oh, it wasn't. No, no. Oh, thank you for clarifying. I didn't re realize that because you know your teeth were falling out the whole time. Do you remember that? Yeah, I do. Yeah. We were yeah. doing this sketch and and well, it's your very gums difficult. Were... Yeah, yeah. yeah was... How are your teeth? Are your teeth nice? Wow. <laughs> I cleaned them this morning. 
I clean mine a couple of times every week. <laughs> it's great. <laughs> It's very, hard to get, it's very hard to get into the American thing of clean, clean, clean. Yeah, flood. I know. See, when you go to the dentist, when you go to the hygienist, do you say, do you lie about how much you floss? Oh, all the time. Yes, but they, but they yeah. know it from the tartar buildup. They well, know that you're they, lying. No, because sometimes I say, oh, I've been flossing all the time, and they say, oh, yes, I can tell, and I'm like, ha, <laughs> 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 That has never happened. I feel like they pull out that metal hook and they start scratching until you bleed just because they that's, know that you're lying. But that's not the worst thing. The worst thing is the, the super splashy water pen. Have you ever had that? No. What is that? Well, it's a very splashy <laughs> pen thing. It's Sounds to break like down tartar. Wild. No, it is a little bit like wet and wild, except not as much fun. Okay. It's this pen, and it shoots water at very high pressure, and they put it in your mouth, and they... And it goes... No, I'll have to ask for that next no, time. No, don't ask for it. It's very, very painful indeed. But I might like a little pain. Oh, oh. A, do not judge the lady in the leather dress. <laughs> and two, <laughs> shut up. <laughs> my guess. Do you like a little? Um, uh, you like a little pain? Do you? You know, like a little, a uh, little bit of hair pulling? Uh, maybe every just now and then. Bit. Just, just a touch. Just a little bit of. Oh, hey, just a yeah, touch, yeah, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Why'd you cut yours off? What my my hair? Yeah. Um, you just got to grow the mullet, and that way there's a really good fistful. That's all right. I, I, get, I get plenty to hold on to. I don't need that. Okay. Hair. Yeah. <laughs> it's all right. That's why I had to undo that button right there. <laughs> Have you ever been to Memphis? I've never been to Memphis. You should go. You should go to Graceland. Were you an Elvis fan? Uh, I, I can't say I was, but my mother was. Well, yeah. It was a so, man, you know, it was one man. of those that, but he's fantastic. I'm a Johnny Cash fan, oh, for I sure. Oh, I loved Johnny Cash. He was amazing. Oh, my God. He's Beautiful. fantastic. Yeah. Great movie, too. The, the Walk the Line. Did you see that? Yeah, it's all right. You weren't crazy about it. <laughs> I was a Johnny Cash fan. So anybody impersonating Johnny Cash, I'm like, yeah. Not as great. Well, yeah, it's Johnny I Cash. Gotcha. I, like the, I like the kicking and the gouging and the mud and the blood and the beer and all that, isn't it? <laughs> then if someone else is doing it, I'm like, oh, you're just an actor doing it. That's what they, that's what we do. Well, that's what yeah. you do. Though. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah cool. I also hear you're a fan of astronauts. I do like a bit of astronaut. Yeah. Why, why do you say that? I don't know. I just, I heard it somewhere and I wanted to be an astronaut. When so I did I. Yeah. You'd Can be a I great tell you something? Yes. Okay, so I'm so obsessed with space that I decided the first year I was with my husband that for Valentine's Day, I was going to do something really special for him. Oh, yeah. And I was away working. <laughs> <laughs> Not that kind of special. Not that kind of special? I was in a different country at the time, all right? Oh, you know, maybe we may make a little movie for him or something. I don't know. All right, all right. This is before Skype. Okay. Um, so anyway, so I decided to do something really great. I was mm -hmm. like, oh, my God, I'm going to buy him a star. Which, have you ever seen that? You can buy people stars. Yeah, that's right. So anyway, so I call him on Valentine's Day. I'm like, did you get my present? He goes, yes. And I was like, I I got you a star. Like, your name is on, like, a piece of gas in the sky in the universe. <laughs> and he's like, yes, uh, very nice. Uh, he's Italian. That's an Italian accent, if you can. He's uh, nice. He's it's nice to get a star with the big gas in the and sky. It's, like, yeah. it's nice. I just spent $70 buying you a star. Whoa, hey, that's an expensive star, lady. And you calling it nice? Yeah. No sex for you. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Ever in nine years. You feel really? <laughs> no, no, he ain't Italian then. <laughs> uh, I think you're kidding me. Well, you know, I uh, I think sometimes though the, the the idea of buying a star, you know, whilst adorable, you know, maybe the people that live on the star will be like, hey, <laughs> it's not. What's your husband's name? Roberto. Uh, uh, we don't really live on Roberto. <laughs> like, if, like if aliens came to this planet and go, oh, look, we're on at last. <laughs> it named after who was a comedian on Zarg many years ago. You go, no, no, this is Earth. No, it's <laughs> I just don't know if you can live on a star, but that's, that's cool. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Wait, wait, you small, small people. <laughs> Not if you're a carbon-based life form that we know, but okay. perhaps if you are a different type of life form that right. enjoys giant balls of gas around you. <laughs> it's not really just gas, anyway. It's miasma, isn't it? Sure. I didn't know that people from places that have miasma can speak. That's they can. They, they speak can. like this. <laughs> <laughs> 
All right, we're out of time. What do you fancy? You want a mouth organ, awkward pause, uh, big cash prize, or do you want to guess what Her Majesty the Queen is thinking? Let's do the mouth organ. Really? Yeah, really. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, yeah, <laughs> that right. one, okay, yeah, yeah. okay, there okay. it is. Uh, you know Thank how you. to do it. Take it out, suck or blow, whatever you fancy. And, uh, <laughs> can, you, can you do this? Because if you can do it, you can win the gold mouth organ, and that's an amazing thing. I mean, very few people have won that. I don't know. You, you'll have to tell me if you think I can do it. Okay. Okay. I'm very Are we doing a, a duet right now? Well, Are you going to help me out a little I'll bit? I'll help you out, yeah. Okay. Right. Ready? Yeah. One, two, three. Oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Very, Isn't that very, how you, very good the actor vibrato. girl. Yeah, no. Yeah. No, you you got to be able to play. Okay. Yeah, go. On. You got a bit of, a bit of Johnny Memphis in there. I get find our missing coma girl. I mean, wait, Blake's watching. Put your hand down my pants or something. What? No. What, what is your deal with Blake anyway? I mean, how could you guys date without him even knowing it? We never dated. I just told him we did so I could have the fun of breaking up with him. He's looking again. Just give me a key. Oh, fine. This used to be us. When? My first guest is a very beautiful actress. She's got a CBGB in theaters now and Trophy Wife, which is Tuesdays on the ABC network. Take a look at this. <laughs> Malin Ackerman, everybody, Malin Ackerman. Yeah. Young lady, I Say, Mal, you look very nice this evening. Thank you, Craig. That's a, is that a sheath? Uh, that's a, a sheath. It's a, it's a leather sheath. It's a leather it's sheath. A that sounds really... very, very rude. Well, you brought it up. Well, I'm just saying, it, it, it sounds so kind of dirty. Well, let me bring down the fantasy for a second, because I've got massive spanks under this baby. Mm -mm. <laughs> no, no, I'm still, like, yeah. right there with a, hmm, <laughs> leather sheath with spanks underneath. It does sound kind of dirty, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. Yeah, sounds yeah. awesome. Yeah. <laughs> I'm amazed you can walk. Oh, i got a lot of practice with 30 sheaths. What? I like your shoes too. Thank you. Yeah, it's all working Rings out. On them. Yeah, yeah you look, look very out. well. They're very you. kind of. I mean, you. When did you have your baby? It wasn't that long ago. Six months ago. Oh wow! Good for you. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. It's really yeah. great. Yeah. <laughs> it is pretty great. I uh, I have someone who someone who wants to make out with me every single day. Yeah, that's, not, that's never been a problem for you, don't no, pretend uh, you know, me. ten years in a marriage. <laughs> uh, no? <laughs> Everyone else This audience is every a day? bit okay. scared, yeah. Right. I don't know what it is. <laughs> Something happened during the... I made them call me Heisenberg, and they've been afraid oh. ever since. Do you like that show? Oh. Everybody loves that show. Oh, my God. I know. I haven't, Sorry. I haven't seen the last eight it, episodes. I haven't seen the last three. Okay, All right. okay, so... So we can't talk about that. Let's so let's talk about your show that you did Okay, then. let's. Yeah, the... Uh, uh, that, that looks good. It's, uh, yeah, I mean... <laughs> Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, it's it looks great. But it has, it's a great show. I mean, you know, you got you got you got you got an Oscar winner, you got an Emmy winner, you got a Swedish Canadian. There person. you go. I mean, yeah. What else do you want? Swedish. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Swedish Canadian, that's right, I forgot about that. You were yeah. raised by uh, Canadians as one of their own. Yeah, just, yeah. just thrown in there. Yeah, they Canadians were just like. And they... What part of Canada was it again? Toronto. Oh, yes, Toronto. Yeah, yeah the that's. T dot is yeah. what we like to call the, it. And also, if you're from Toronto, you don't say Toronto, you say Toronto. 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 Yeah, yeah. Make you sound like you're an international jet setter. <laughs> yeah, I've been in Toronto yeah. and had some <laughs> bacon. Oh. Some Canadian yes, bacon. Yeah. yeah, and some late night Chinese food. Yeah, they do have yeah. that there as well. Yeah, I like Toronto, yeah. actually. It's good, nice. Good, yeah, good. Yeah, it's good. We I was... should go there together and watch the last episodes of Breaking Bad. <laughs> yeah, all right. Um... It's a date. 
Amen. Just to stir You're going to wear your sheath? <laughs> yeah, I will. <laughs> and mustangs. What's the film CB? Is the, the CBGB film about CBGBs? It is. That's. I'd that's, like to see I was in CBGBs at that point. Well, not quite at that point. A little bit after. You don't quite remember that moment, do you? Well, I, I was in CBGBs, CBGBs a lot. I don't remember a lot of times I was in it, though. I was in yeah, it more times than I remember. Most people don't. It was, it was stinking it was dirty, dirty yeah. place. Yeah. They, I, I never went, unfortunately. I, would, I wish I would have gone. Oh, away. it was just a dirty old pub. Yeah, well, they, yeah. they actually brought in the, the one piece that they decided to, the, the one authentic piece they decided to bring to set was the toilet from CBGB. I've, I've Which, been oh there. God, I can I smell you. I can I've been there. No, not for toilet, toilet, for call and say my name, you know. Uh, <laughs> Okay. That's Good. interesting. Yeah. The, what, the actual to this toilet yeah, stalls? Yeah, the actual toilet. I mean, really? that was, yeah, that and the phone booth and then the bar, which was, uh, it was, it, which was great, I guess. Uh, who do you, you, who do you play in this I movie? I play Blondie. D Debbie Harry, you play yeah, Debbie Harry? Yeah, That's yeah. interesting. She's kind of a, an amazing, uh, yeah. amazing person to, 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 to play. Yeah. And then I got to get on stage with um, uh, Taylor Hawkins, the drummer from Foo Fighters, who plays Iggy Pop. Um, oh. And it was a nice sort of moment to be with a half-naked Taylor Hawkins on stage. Yeah. Same lady. Have you ever, have you ever seen yeah. Eggy live? I haven't. You've got to see Eggy live. It's okay. crazy. That, that little bastard is as crazy as oh, he ever was. Oh, he's still going. I he's, mean, that, those he muscles. He is ripped. I don't know what it is. It's, it's like he's been on some weird super drug for about 40 years. It's called cocaine. Yeah, it's cocaine, yeah. I think it is. No, no, I don't think so. I think he's clean. Yeah, I, I think, think he is I think he's been too, clean actually. for a yeah. long time. He's yeah. just... You see, I saw him in Long Beach once. I was like, oh, my God. It's insane, right? And he was about 75 then, you know. <laughs> That's wow, a rock star. Are you good. into that kind of music? Uh, you know, not really punk. I like, I like the, I like rock and roll for sure I'm, what kind of like rock and roll are we talking zeppelin, about zeppelin acdc metallica yeah that's uh, you know, yeah that's a very different genre <laughs> you're talking about there i like this genre you like that don't you <laughs> yeah a little <laughs> yeah <laughs> did you ever listen to rush they're a canadian band aren't i they? i did yeah did you really yeah, they weren't my favorite no but... mine neither no <laughs> yeah it is what it is you yeah know, got it you got been to sweden recently um, have I been to Sweden recently? Mm -hmm. I was there when I was four months pregnant. That was the oh, last really? time I was there. Yeah. yeah. Have you been to Sweden recently? Not recently, no. I think it's about time I went back to Sweden. Yeah, I think, I think you should. Yeah. I think I, I should take you out in Sweden and show you what it's all about. Oh, I know what it's all about in Sweden. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Maybe I should take you out in Sweden okay. and show you what it's all about. Okay. Yeah, what part of Sweden are you from again? Stockholm. Oh, yeah. The Cafe Opera. We talked about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah we yeah, did. that's a yeah. nice place. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh God! It's a real place, man. I'm not advertising it, it, anything. It's a it real is place. a real place. It's just that it feels like a real inside kind of thing here. People are like, "Oh, cafe opera." Nobody knows what we're saying except for the people that are sitting in Sweden right now watching this. I don't think they're watching this show in Sweden. Right I don't know. They're, they're too busy having uh, Swedish things. Fish. Fish. Swedish yeah. fish. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Do you still yeah. eat all that? <laughs> no. No. I don't. Don't blame you. Yeah, we just eat. I mean, in Sweden, they're just called fish. So. Yeah. In Sweden. So do you I'm ski? I do ski. Yeah, yeah. I imagine you'd probably ski in a kind of tight little outfit. <laughs> well, like, like this. I just go like this. You wear that ski? I do. I just wear my ski. See, in my mind, you do, for <laughs> yeah. sure. Yeah. It's great. And your skis have heels as well. <laughs> yes, they do. Yeah, I They're love that. They're made by Manolo Blahnik, and they've got the red on the bottom. I love that. Yeah. That's Christian Labouton, by the way. I'm oh, sorry so, we can't oh, call you. Oh, you're so right. Mm -mm -mm. How do you know this stuff? Oh, excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> I met Christian Labouton in Paris. Oh, you did? Mm-hmm. Wow. Did he you gave my wife a pair of shoes. Oh, she must have been very happy. <laughs> yes, she was. <laughs> Until she wore them and couldn't walk anymore. Well, no, they, she can walk in them. She oh, can, like, good. get to the end of the room. Got a real room. Then. Yeah. <laughs> the end of the room, yeah. They're very, yeah. They're, I mean, they're real kind of... So what are these, then? Well, they're, I, I don't know, but I... They're but fancy, I though. I like them. I feel like they should stay on. Oh, yeah, I like that. You know? <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean. Until I get home. Stay on this show. Stay on the show. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. What were you thinking? Oh, come oh, on. Greg. Come on, get your yeah. mind out of the gutter. I've got a son. Yeah, me too. I've got two. I've got two sons. That's right, you yeah, do. I know. And I Milo is one of the names that we were maybe going to name our son. Well, you can't do that. My oldest boy is called Milo. It's already taken. Yeah, I know. Well, that's, that's why we didn't do it. What would you name know. your son? 
Sebastian. Oh, that's quite nice. Yeah, I think so too. That's a song by Steve Harley and Cockney Rebel. Did you ever hear that that's song? That's nice. I had no idea. No. You don't know what I'm talking about? No. It sounds like you just spoke Japanese. English rock band of the 1970s, Cockney that's, Rebel. They were good. That's great. Mm -hmm. I was born at the end of the 70s, so I just didn't, didn't okay. quite get on that track. <laughs> It didn't seem to stop you with Led Zeppelin, no, did it? I'm just saying. No, I just, I just put my foot in my mouth. No, nah, it's um, <laughs> Anyway, uh, we're out of time. Oh, okay. No, I mean, we genuinely are. Oh, okay. But you can keep that's... your shoes on. Oh, thank you. <laughs> you want to uh, you wanna ding the bell or blow the mouth organ or uh, smoke the pipe or say my name? What do you want to do? Oh, my God. Uh, can we do all at once? Or what yeah, we... yeah, we can. <laughs> <laughs> or let's, none at all. Ding the bell. What let's let's ding the bell. Okay, one ding and we're German. Eins, zwei, drei. Still German. Ich liebe dich. Three dings. Italian Bill Clinton. No, Dracula. I want to eat your blood. Eat your blood? <laughs> and that's enough for now. Bye. She's a very beautiful actress. She's in a new film called Happy Thank You More, Please. <laughs> I had a nickel for every time I'd said that. It's in theaters uh, March 4th. Take a look at this clip. He looks like he should be making balloon animals at birthday parties. Why do I have to be with balloon animal guy? You don't have to do anything. He just, he sounds great. That's all. I want you to be happy. And his name's Sam. Come on, it's a strong name. And this coming from the guy who likes his girls with belly button rings and the lower back tattoos. That is outrageous. Had their lives doing spinning classes. What? And I'm sure Alabama's a homely fat girl with a kickin' personality. Mississippi. Whatever. Red states. <laughs> Please welcome the lovely Malin Ackerman, everybody. Malin Ackerman. Your green dress. Thank Look at you. you. I was uh, actually over at the Price is Right auditioning to become a hey. model. Just thought I'd give it a shot. Well, you're, you're obviously <laughs> implying the, you know, referring back to what happened on Tuesday when yes. the audience here was from the Price is Right. Yeah, I, I watched gonna... that show yeah, on Tuesday. It yeah. was a great show. I'd with knock John. it off. <laughs> <laughs> Look at your ring. Yeah. Wow. Is I that some that kind years. of medieval armor? Uh, yeah, Swedish Viking armor. I just, I get nervous when I sit beside you because you are... Grabby? Yeah. I'm not. And you're wearing a sperm tie tonight, which is a little bit... <laughs> it's fascinating. I it's mean, it's a Friday sperm, night tie. It's not sperm, paisley. Oh, I see. Okay. In, in Sweden, we call that sperm, but that's cool. Well, it, well we wanna... call sperm in America paisley. Oh, great. Paisley. All right. Now I know what to tell my husband when we gotta get pregnant. Give me some paisley. CBS cares. Peterson. Uh, Peterson, yeah, yeah. yeah. You're, yeah. you're Swedish and you think that Jeff is Swedish. He's not, but I like the way you say well, Peterson <laughs> like that. It's just great. I actually went on Ancestry.com. Have you heard of that? Yeah. And we're distant cousins. I checked it out. His Jeff dad. Peterson? Yeah. So it's not Jeff Peterson, it's Jeff Peterson. Peterson, yeah. Yeah. Distant, distant, distant cousins from father's, mother's, sister's brother. Um, and probably some. Six, please. Yeah, all right. <laughs> Party. Yeah, do you, Swedish. Are you, uh, now, Sweden is, uh, it's not just uh, drunks and smoked fish, is it? There's other things there. There's, um, oh, you've got the girl with the dragon tattoo. That's Swedish. That we do have, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Did you yeah. read those books? Uh, no, but uh, I watched the movies. Oh, right, yeah, yeah, yes. No, yeah. I like the movies uh, a lot. Did yeah. you see them? Yes, all of them? yes. Yeah, not all of them. I've seen the first one and the second one, and I read the first book, and I was like, oh, this is great. And then I read the second book, and I was like, pretty good. Uh -huh. And then the third book, I was like, yeah. You were over it. Yeah, I don't know yeah. what it is. And I've talked to a lot of people the same way. Are you a voracious reader? Do you like crime novels? Or uh, you know what? I'm, I'm not a voracious reader. I, I, like, uh, I like novels like Paolo Coelho. 
I don't know if you ever heard of Valerian yes, Minnick. Yes, yes, Paul, the alchemist. Yeah, yeah, yeah the yeah, alchemist, yeah. and he's got a ton of really great books. Right. Yeah. Um, no, I read the alchemist. I haven't read any any of the other ones. It's quite uh, it's quite spiritual uh, stuff, isn't it? Yeah, that one is definitely. But right. then you read Eleven Minutes, and it's about a Brazilian girl who comes over um, to Europe and thinks she's going to become get work, and instead she becomes a prostitute. That's like me coming here. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you would really love it. You yeah, can no, then, you know, I, no, I you remember can, liking yeah. the book at the time. I read it a long, a long way back. Yeah, yeah. Did they ever make Is a movie it? of that they were going to? I don't think so, no. no. Well, what's but this movie about? Where's your eyebrows in this film? Uh, what happened? Uh, uh, I shaved them off. Oh, you shaved yeah, them off? Yeah, I did because I thought, I mean, she is actually a woman who has alopecia. Oh, right. Yeah, a friend is, of mine got that. Oh, really? Yeah, just everything fell out. All his, all his hair. All of it. It's yeah, all yeah, gone. yeah, his yeah. whole body. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All of it. What it's but that's like great a, for certain things. I mean, it really is. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, all right. Yeah, no. But we no, don't he's, get he's fine, but he, uh, I think it was uh, shock or something. Does that what it's, it's It can be many things. It could be just... I mean, it doesn't have to be shock at all. It can just be, it could be hereditary, it could be... They don't really know why it happens. Right. But, um, but the alopecia universalis is where you lose all of your hair everywhere. Right. Yeah, yeah. And, yeah, um, yeah. and so I really went method. You did? And, you yeah, did? totally. Oh. Just shaved yeah. it all off. But yeah. Yeah, right, yeah. <laughs> That's what my husband says here. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Sex You're going to need your ring in a minute. <laughs> Yeah, from Peterson yeah, over there. Yeah, Jeff Peterson spicy. will be right over here. Are you, do you go back to Sweden much? I do. I go back uh, at least once a year, if not twice, and visit family over there. Right. And, or I'll say, you know... Do you kayak around the fjords? <clears throat> wow, that's very interesting how you perceive kayaking on grass. <laughs> Fjords are, are Fjords not, are grass? Yeah, they're not really water. They're not water? No. What other lies have you but been you telling us, you Swedish it. monster? And it's also Norway. But that's Norway? Cool. Norway they has the fjords. fjords. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sweden has lakes. We have ladies. Ladies. Drinks. Ladies drinks. Ladies, ladies drinks, yes. <laughs> what are you meaning? Well, the, in Sweden, you, well, you have the sauna. I've been to Sweden. I went yeah. to uh, um, the one in the middle there, Stockholm. Stockholm, yeah, 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 yeah. which is a great city, which is where I'm from. Right, it's a lovely place. Where we eat really rotten fish. Did you ever try the rotten fish? I tried some, uh, what is it called? Ludvig? Ludvig, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gesundheit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> No, uh, Lu, Lu, what's it again? Lutefisk. Lutefisk. Yes, yeah, a lot yeah. of people in the Midwest are from uh, from that part of the world, or their yeah. ancestry is. Minnesota. And, yeah, yeah, and they eat a lot of the Lutefisk. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what is it? It it's smells for a long... It's really, it's just rotten fish. It's like way back in the day when we didn't have refrigerators. Yeah. Um, well, which don't they, say that in front of a Price is Right well, audience. Well, yeah, I mean, uh, I mean, they give them you away on Price is Right. mention a refrigerator right. and they start salivating. <laughs> I can guess the price, I can guess the price! <laughs> yeah, they, they don't, they don't, they didn't have them, so there were no refrigerators. Is that why the Vikings were so angry and grumpy? Because they had to eat rotten fish? I think, I mean, that would make me pretty angry, yeah. wouldn't it? I mean, yeah, it, it doesn't yeah. smell good and you have to kiss that and Do you, it's nasty. Vikings, did, did Vikings kiss? I think so. <laughs> That's adorable. Yeah, yeah, they kind of mash lips together yeah. really well. Hey, rough. um, I played a Viking in a movie. You did not. In a, in a, you know, in an animated movie. Okay. Because all the Vikings, the, uh, it was How to Train Your Dragon, and the Vikings were, uh, had Scottish accents. We did That's it because... That's great. Yeah. How did it work out? I think the Swedes were a bit upset, but everyone yeah. else was fine. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. I have to. I, I, I haven't seen it yet. But oh I will really? Totally go oh, see it's, it uh, it's on DVD, available for all the family. Great, fantastic. <laughs> or you could probably get it for free on The Price Is Right. No, no, oh, no, no, no. no. I, I don't know. They away. don't give away DVDs in The Price they Is don't? Right. No, they give away DVD players oh, okay. on The Price okay. Is Right. Well, do you watch throw game in a shows? DVD? Not much. No, but I do watch The Price Is Right, of course. Do you? Really? Yeah. No, I don't. You don't? No, I don't. Did you? Did you ever watch it? Yeah, I've seen it a few times. Did you watch it uh, pre or post Bob Barker? Uh, both. Oh, really? I've seen both. So, what's your favorite? Thin Drucari, Fat Drucari? <laughs> I like something to grab onto. <laughs> yeah, I like You're the welcome extra here. Yeah. You're welcome here. Thank you. Yeah. Because, because I have to... Drew's been a friend of mine for a long time, but I'm concerned about this consistent weight. Yeah, he's going to yeah. become like He's really healthy and, and looks well and everything else. Yeah, it's weird. It's not the Drew Carey I know, I tell you that. we got to slip him some burgers and some pizzas so that he no, gets there, back to his There's no need to do up. that either. You know, you don't, I've seen him eat. You don't want to see that. Okay. All right, we'll let it be. Definitely. Do you have a, you, You're in very good shape. Do you exercise a lot? Do you have a, um, uh, I have an Italian husband. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
Is that a sex thing? Maybe. Is it, is it a sex thing? Stamina. Sta yeah. So, right. yeah. What's a coming and go, hey, baby? You're looking crazy good tonight. Hey, they're hey, fine. Hey, Tussie Yeah. <laughs> No, we, uh, uh, I, I do a lot of, of walking. We're, we're right by That's a That's the best exercise it's you can get. Fantastic. We're, Absolutely. In, we're in California. The sun shines pretty much every day. Yep. So you can just get out and, and go for a really great walk. That's well, I, I walk <laughs> around this area here. This, totally, uh, yeah. That's a, that's a long walk. Yeah, it is. I mean, yeah, it's a long walk from there to that little light over yeah, there. And then yeah, yeah. What is that light? Where is that? Actually, I think it's a kind of a, it's a flashlight held backstage cool. by an intern. Actually. Great. That's amazing. Backstage with your horse. Oh. You I saw like the a good horse. horse. Do you like the horse? I do. I love a good horse. Can you handle it? I don't know. Can you handle it? Maybe I can. <laughs> show uh, where you can win cash and prizes <laughs> apparently you can actually uh, no for legal reasons you can't right I gotta say that oh no you can't you absolutely can't there's no way don't even look out don't watch this <laughs> My first guest tonight is a very beautiful actress. I'm not kidding. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> She's Swedish. <laughs> She's in the new film Wanderlust. It's in theaters on Friday. Take a look. <laughs> Please welcome Melon Ackerman, everybody. Bye. Wow. Look, you look just amazing. Look at the, the, the colors and the, the <laughs> things and all. It's like wow. a feast for your eyes. Thank you so much. I've never been called that before. Are you sure? <laughs> yes, I, would, I would remember that. I like your hair. Is that a Thank French you. pleat? Uh, perhaps. I don't. I didn't ask what it was called. I'm surprised that you know more about it than I do. I just made it up. Oh, okay. Uh, that was really good. I no, believed it. Yeah. yeah. But you're a famous actress. You go to the red carpet stuff. Never. Do you have? To, do you have a? Do you have to like have a lot of dresses? How many dresses you got? Uh, I don't. Ha we. I get really lucky because we get to borrow this stuff. Does I have to give oh, it is back? How that how it works? Uh, yeah, that's how it works. Well, you go to so a I store. I don't actually get to. I don't actually get to to keep this lovely dress. Well, that's great for you, because women don't it like is. to wear it more than once anyway, right? Exactly, so just, exactly. So you just wear it, you give it back, and they're like, uh, do you want to buy it? You're like, no, nah, I'm good. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it works out well, because then you've got a, cl a closet that extends beyond your closet. That's amazing. The only thing is, is though, now you re I really like your response in this dress. I might have to keep it. I might have to just might make it disappear. I, I, I lost it. Oops, I, I lost I could, it the Craig Ferguson disappear. show. Yeah. <laughs> I bet you is that, did. Is that little st studs up here? That's an easy access button. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You never I'm know. always happy when you make it to the show. It just makes me. Oh, listen, before we go any further, can I ask you a question? Yes. Do you prefer fat Drew Carey or the new handsome, thin uh, Drew Carey? You know, I, I, I have to say, I like him a little fat around, a little, a little love handle. I have a theory about this. Yeah, yeah. Tell Not me. necessarily about Drew Carey, but, but all uh, relationships of a heterosexual variety. Okay. I believe that uh, male heterosexuals are more attracted to slightly larger uh, females. Ay caramba! Okay. Yeah. <laughs> you got any cookies back there? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. You want some tea? <laughs> I, uh... <laughs> it's true, though. I have to tell you that every time I eat myself up a little bit, your husband my gets husband... a little bit frisky. Yeah, <laughs> yes. that's right. He gets a little hands-on. Right. Which I love. It's right. great. You see, what happens is I think dress designers are like, no, you've got to be thin so that the clothes look like that. But you see, men who are not involved in dress design, they're not caring about the clothes staying on. <laughs> Exactly. You're like, baby, it's, you know, it's and if okay. it's too uncomfortable, take it off. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> that's right. But the shoes stay on. Oh, Is that, that's isn't that very how it good. Goes? Yeah. yeah. That's very that good. One. Come on. <laughs> yes. Yes. In fact, let's do our own little PSA for sexual relations across okay. the United States okay. for the heterosexual folks. Yes. Ladies. Gentlemen. Shoot. 
Uh, well, yeah, all right. <laughs> I don't know. Ladies. Ladies. The shoes stay on. The clothes come off. CBS <laughs> Yeah. That works. That's nice. It's not the same when men keep their shoes on, though, is it? It's not, not you know, really. Shoes and socks but, and a hat. But, but sometimes, <laughs> sometimes you want them to keep the shoes on because the smell might ruin the mood. Ruin. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. Does your husband have smelly feet? No, not really. He's well, Italian. I, I just lied. He totally does. <laughs> Does he really? He really does, yeah. I thought because he's an Italian, his feet would smell like, you know, leather or, uh, you know, Leather pizza. or cologne. <laughs> <laughs> but he's nice enough that he puts his shoes outside on the balcony at night, and they're not in the room. My God, they're that bad? Yeah. <laughs> you know, he's a drummer, and he wears these plastic shoes, and he gets all sweaty. And Are we yeah. talking Crocs? No. <laughs> no. Because, no. you know, our allowed. friendship would be at an end right now. Those are also, not an Italian man wearing Crocs, that's not going to happen. <laughs> it's still leather and like, you know, the, the nice gym shoes and all that kind of stuff, but, but when you're sweating around, you know, right. it's, not a good, it's not a good mix. Does he ever drum in the house? Uh, on everything, yes. Really? Yes. <laughs> Has he got one of them the little electronic practice kits? No, he says those are for, I don't know what I can say on TV, you but can say, those are for... Uh -oh. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> no, I've got one. No, I do. I have one. You have one? I'm yeah, sorry. Yeah. No, that's all right. Uh, uh, I, will, I, will, I will send you a real one. No, no, no. I have a real one. I'm just, oh, okay. Well, then there you go. I'm not allowed to play it in the house. <laughs> <laughs> I see your husband is correct. Yeah. <laughs> do you watch game shows? Not much, no. But I have seen The Price is Right. Yeah, well, I think you'd have yeah. to. You know, I mean, you'd have to be. I mean, who's not seen The living, Price is Right? Living in a cave. If yeah, you, yeah. No, it's just crazy. How it's long has that been on the air? A long time. Yeah. I think Before our. I is was it on around. the air in Sweden? I actually don't know. We probably have like a Swedish Price is Right. Yeah. The, which is probably why I never watch it. Um, because when you go to Sweden, out, do you watch like old fish do, on no. Price is Right? <laughs> no. When you go back to Sweden, do you give a uh, do you give it old fish? Do you, uh, <laughs> old fish yeah. Do you watch uh, Do you watch the Swedish television? When you I back? do sometimes watch the Swedish television. Who's your, who's your favorite Swedish television personality? <laughs> there is uh, these two guys who are called Philip and Fredrik. They've and been here. <laughs> they have. Yeah, I think they have. Weren't they the two I'm guys sure they from have. Sweden? They've... They were here. Yeah. Oh my God, that's yeah, amazing. Yeah, they helped us put some right? furniture together. They were awesome. <laughs> From Ikea, right? Yeah. Ikea, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, they were very, very nice. They actually were here, I think. Uh, I'm sure they were. They're, yeah. they're, they're actually, they've been back and forth in L.A. And yeah, they're yeah. super fun and, and good at putting furniture together from Yeah, they can do that. Yeah, you know, they, they can Thank do that. God. What else do they have in Sweden you enjoy? They have the fish and the... Uh... Uh, they have the meatballs and they have the... Uh... Now, here's the thing. Your husband's Italian. Yes. So he knows a thing or two about meatballs, too. He does. We have very different meatballs. <laughs> does that make sense? <laughs> They I don't have know why it sounds they, dirty, but it kind of no, does. I know. You know what I mean? Well, they have big meatballs in Italy, and we have little meatballs. <laughs> it's just not coming out right. You know what we should talk about in the movie? Is it good? Yes, that's, oh, that's, great, that's great. a good thing. It's, great, it's great. a very We've got to take a commercial break, but we'll be right back. <laughs> no, wait, wait, wait. Oh, we don't? No, no, no. Well, we um, kind of do, but I felt that I'd cut you off when you were talking no, about the movie. No, that's okay. Uh, I was movie good? Say it's good. It's really good. You should go see it. You should all go see it. It's fantastic. It's so much fun. It is such a great cast. Uh, is not that, is that Paul Rudd? Paul Rudd. He's funny. Who's hilarious. He's very funny. He's been here. I'm sure he yeah, has. Yeah, he, he, he's not from Sweden. No, he's yeah. not. <laughs> Although he, he so doesn't know what thing kind of, to do about meatballs. Yeah, I was uh, just going to say, I don't know what kind of meatballs. Like medium meatballs? No, he, he's more your Italian, you know. Oh, really? How do you know that? I have a special camera that looks in the guest oh, dressing rooms. great. I'm really excited about that. No, I don't. I do. <laughs> Feeling a little bit naked right now. We do now. have to take a commercial break. We'll be right back with Malin Ackerman. <laughs> Talking girl stuff. <laughs> <laughs> we wear as well. We wear talking girl. I was like, no, but then if you hand the dress back, other people see the dress, they're like, oh, I'm gonna wear that. <laughs>
<laughs> Listen, we're out of time. Okay. Okay, so uh, what do you fancy? Mouth argument, awkward pause, or would you like to go for the big cash prize? Do you still have a big cash prize? Oh, yeah, giving yeah. it out to the oh, listen, I'm going to put ladies. No, 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 no. I'm going to put CBS in the poor house by the time I'm finished. Okay, let's do it. One hundred. Well, it's fifty dollars. Is that it? Uh, listen, that's dinner. <laughs> All right, you want to go for the big cash prize? Yes. What time is it, Shadow Stevens? Time for the big cash prize. Can I tell you two things? One, you guys were very slow in shouting big cash prize, and two, you didn't applaud at the end of big cash prize, which makes me think that's why you didn't get to the price is right! <laughs> ah, don't do it now! So, here's how it works. Rob a bank? Well, it's kind of, it's, uh, don't touch the bag and turn no, the around okay. it. I, uh... <laughs> This is uh, $50 in quarters. Yes. I'm only letting you touch it because of that dress. Uh, and also this. The, um, it's $50 in quarters in a bag with a dollar sign on it, like the burglars use. Um, now, there's two ways to win. Yes. You can either answer a question. Yes. Or you can guess what's in my box. Here's how that works. I imagine a box, but I don't know what's in it. Only Jeff knows what's in the box. Okay. So you try and guess what's in the box. If you're right, Jeff will tell you. You win $50. If you're wrong, something awful will happen. <laughs> I think I'm going to guess what's in the box. Whoa. Uh, oh, don't. It's too late now. A day late and a dollar short. <laughs> <laughs> All right, then, if you're going to guess what's in the box, here we go. I'm imagining a box. Can I tell you what's in it? I'd be grateful if you did. <laughs> but wait for a minute. Okay. You let me know when you're ready. I'm ready. Okay. Is it a... Wait, wait, wait. Oh, okay. Do you want to ask how uh, big or small the box is? Oh, how big is the box? It's about the size of a bread box. A bread box? Yeah. Oh, shoot. Okay. Are you sure about that? Not entirely. Okay. <laughs> Could it maybe be a really big box? Sure, why not? Okay, great. Yeah. Whoa, it's, it's, this is a giant box. I haven't seen a box this big since... Okay. Then I know exactly what it is. What is it? It is a woman wearing nothing but high heel shoes. <laughs> Maybe, maybe not. I don't know, Jeff. What is in my box? We would have accepted meatballs. But the correct answer is a woman wearing nothing but high heel shoes. It is the 